welcome rob and lovely to have you on board um so uh, we'll start by talking about dms i tech uh, so in in this crowded msp market how does dms i tech uh, differentiate itself and uh, what value core values do you all bring to your clients absolutely thank you very much trisa that is a great question the it market is definitely very uh, large with a lot of different players in the space so we basically found three key pillars that we use to try to differentiate ourselves the first is we recognize that because the world is so complex no one partner can understand all of the products that are available so we don't try instead we focus on a handful of best of breed products and we make sure that our staff are educated and expert level on those products so if a customer approaches us on a product that we know nothing about we don't try to pretend to know just to try to get that sale or that customer we're we're very comfortable with what we know and also comfortable in what we don't know The second thing, we invest very heavily into our employees. So whether that be a uh, personal training or certifications, uh basically anything that we can do to make sure that they have the skill sets and knowledge and comfort to provide the best value for our customers. And lastly, we just try to have a very open and honest relationship with our customers. We always strive to be considered as the trusted advisor. We don't want to be the external party that is kind of considered to be adversarial, which we know some of MSPs have a reputation for. instead we want to see as being to work with the customer as an extension of their IT department as an msp what are the key challenges that you face i think the biggest challenge that we have is just trying to keep up with the constantly changing scope and scale every day is an adventure every day brings new challenges uh that can make things uh, very difficult to keep uh, keep track of or we also have just many of the large scale changes that happened. So for example, just in the last month there was a major bug for shell vulnerability that was announced in the media that we had to work a lot of late nights to address for our customers. But then we have also other longer scale things where we have vendors that will just make large scale changes to their infrastructure. For example, Microsoft is recently upending their entire cloud service provider program, introducing something called the new commerce experience. That's requiring us to revisit core foundations of how we operate our business. and those kinds of things just kind of happen in perpetuity in this space and so we just have to constantly be ready to adapt how do you stay a step of ahead of these challenges i mean it is really a market in flux constant flux i don't think there's a particular technique that we do other than just making sure that we're definitely staying abreast of the news so uh, certainly with the log for j thing being involved in various msp news groups and forums and just mainstream media involved in newsletters and webinars basically anything to stay abreast of what's happening within the industry so that we can uh, be as receptive and responsive to it as possible and talking about log for j uh you know cyber security has moved from the from the shadows to becoming a a, a key business priority the world economic forum listed it as one of the two key challenges that uh, that we will be facing this year so what uh, are you know some of the common cyber security concerns or challenges that your customers face absolutely So I think that the cyber concerns that our customers have are going to be pretty universal for all customers regardless of size or vertical. It's basically how do we protect our data and how do we ensure the the security and long-term availability of that data. What has changed though in say the last 20 or 30 years is the internet and just how pervasive it has become within our business. What this effectively means is that the bad guys no longer need physical access to try to attack your facilities. They now have 24/7 365 access to basically all of your tools and services and we promise they are attacking you every minute of every day. What this means effectively then is that us as administrators, we have to get every single security setting, every single permission right every single time in perpetuity whereas the bad guys, they only have to be ready once. So that's why it's really important that we ensure we have a robust set of tools and processes in place. to mitigate these risks as much as as we possibly can then especially with the remote workforce i mean that must have added to the <laughs> oh yeah once covid hit that was certainly a definitely a big shift for a lot of people but the good news is that at least for a lot of our customers the work from home thing has actually been uh we've been pushing that as kind of a, an advantage for years even prior to covid happening so we were able to weather that storm i think better than some of our uh, competitors may have that's a smart move Oh. and uh, you know how uh, uh, so i'm guessing uh, cyber security solutions are an essential part of your msp suite absolutely yes okay.
talking specifically about backup and recovery so what spurred the necessity for including backup and recovery as a service for your customers well uh, i think that it's just the recognition that something bad is going to happen it's kind of just an inevitable reality of the world right whether it be a malicious attack or even just someone accidentally deleting data and not realizing it until it's too late we need to make sure that we have some solution to be able to recover that data when we look at cloud ally specifically why we decided to kind of go that way we've actually been a cloud ally customer now since i believe 2016 so it's been you know a number of years now and back then when i was actually the one that spearheaded that project and the the landscape was very different back then there were not a lot of cloud first backups primarily for microsoft 365 which is where we specialize And so when we looked at Cloud Ally what was really um impressive about that was that they had an easy to use interface and competitive pricing which is certainly obviously a big deal when trying to sell this to our customers and what really got me actually was when I did reach out during the trial the support was incredibly responsive so we decided to give them a try with you know a, a 90 day trial at the beginning and 6 years later we're still here Yes uh, we are so happy to have you as our customer so you know not too many people know that Cloud Ally was one of the first that pioneered uh, cloud backup now that you've used Cloud Ally for so many years uh, what would you say are the top 3 features that give you the most ROI but by far the easiest one is the fact that it's uh, all cloud based and setting it up is incredibly trivial when we bring a new customer on board we can have Cloud Ally set up in literally minutes and there's no on premises infrastructure to try to convince the customer to purchase that's been a huge selling feature for for us for a lot of our customers beyond that benefit for us is the partner api and the partner portal as a whole because then getting a holistic view of all of our customers on one page and being able to extract all that data into our custom platforms that's been a huge improvement and i think finally just the fact that it works like the the thing about backup products cuz certainly we've worked with other ones in the past they add in so many features and so many buttons and doodads that the product basically falls under the collapse of its own weight cloud ally i really appreciate it because it's purpose built to basically solve one problem so when you log in you have a backup button and a restore button because at the end of the day that's all i care about and the fact that that works as effectively as it does is something that i very much appreciate it is true a backup solution is only as good as its recovery capabilities you know absolutely everything else is bells and whistles so. Absolutely. Can you relate an incident when you or any of your customers use Cloud Ally in particular uh, for data recovery? Absolutely actually. In fact, that's part of what actually prompted this call is uh, during uh, Christmas this year, we actually had one of our customers that was actually hit by ransomware and a particularly virulent strain of it and not only did it wipe out all of the uh, on-premises infrastructure but also got to all of their SharePoint backups. I'm uh, sorry, not SharePoint backups, uh, document libraries. We were able to restore all of the on-premises backups relatively easily, but the SharePoint backups were not something that we otherwise would have had an infrastructure to, to set up. But three years ago, we convinced the customer to purchase Cloud Ally, and for the last three years, it's just been sitting there doing nothing. In fact, I think even a year ago, we had a conversation with the customer if they asked if they still needed it. Is this something we could cut when they were doing cost savings? Okay. We convinced them not to. Okay. And thank God we did because this went from being an absolute potential catastrophic disaster to click restore 200,000 files over uh, between Thursday and Friday and by end of day Friday they were back up and running again. So I don't know what we would have done if it wasn't for Cloud Ally for that customer. Wow, that that, that is uh, that is an impressive story. And uh, you know uh, I mean going by this and uh, other customers who have used um, Cloud Ally for data recovery. What advice would you give other MSPs who are like on the fence, unsure about adding backup and recovery to their suite of solutions? I think it's important to remember that backups are an absolutely essential part of any MSP's tool chain that they're offering to their customers. As I mentioned before, bad things will happen. It's not a matter of if; it's a matter of when. be it ransomware, a flood, hardware failure, a malicious employee, or even just an honest to goodness mistake in a click type. Something bad will happen. And if you just really have to think of backups as insurance. You hope you never use it, but you have to have it in place before you need it because you can't do it after the fact. So, I recommend all MSPs ensure that they have both a backup and as was mentioned, a recovery plan for any products that they're supporting. 
it's true and as a final question uh, you know if you were to summarize in in three points what is the main value that cloud ally has brought to your customers one incredibly easy setup so that there is no friction in trying to have those discussions because we know customers are always very cost conscious looking for wherever where they can cut and backups because they feel like insurance like when you get car insurance you get collision do you want collision no i think i'm going to try to save that until all of a sudden you need it right so okay. be- because it's so easy to set up and and uh, inexpensive relatively speaking it's it's a very easy sell we don't have to do a lot of of nudging in in that direction and the second thing is that it just works there there isn't a lot of when i deal with a lot of on premises backup products there tends to be failures every couple of days something will go wrong somewhere in the process but because of how all these cloud products work they tend to run a lot more reliably which saves a lot of effort for the both the administrator and concerns from the customer that the data is available and finally from a marketing perspective the unlimited retention that cloud ally offers is still mind boggling that that's the case but i can never store my data from 2015 still so i mean it is a valid uh, uh feature that's uh, recommended i hope it encourages people watching to definitely add backup and recovery as you know a must have uh, insurance given that attacks are rising by the day and uh, mm-hmm. nothing better than a one click recovery when you're faced with the stress of an attack absolutely And of course, it's also important to note that it is immutable relative to the, the the whatever the primary data source is. So even if the Microsoft 365 backups in this case are compromised by an intentional attacker that's actively trying to delete the backups, unless they have access to the Cloud Ally portal, those are not touchable by the attacker. So that is again another huge benefit.